my approach is uh, uh, about the critical political economy, political economy of Weibo, uh, which seems a little bit marginal compared to the you know technological and business models of, of research. Uh, as just as I, I, I'm still a regular regular phone user, uh, not a you know a iPhone user uh, as in the mainstream you know uh, market. Uh, My presentation can be divided into three, three parts of uh, defining Weber in social context, not only in technology, and mapping the Weber industries as market force, and rethinking the power relations in Weber communication. Uh, I want to define Weibo uh, or the Chinese uh, microblogging or Chinese version of Twitter in uh, a diversity of Chinese social context, uh, like uh, it's in obviously it's technological and communication revolution, uh, especially uh, from top down to bottom up, becoming a flat structure of, of, of communication. Uh, and it's a, it's a kind of uh, outcome of media convergence in, interconnected with other traditional media channels. And the third, third definition is political emancipation. Uh, it's very, very uh, special in China. Uh, a lot of people use this definition to against the authoritarian regime. And the fourth uh, definition is a huge market for both ICTS and then other industries companies. So Weibo is not only a freedom of speech, but also a market, a huge market, a huge business in China. And the fifth definition is new cultural forms like uh, the urban consumerism. Uh, only people who have money, who have time, they use Weibo. Uh, we can see us very, uh, very, uh, a simple picture about the increasing population of Chinese Weibo users. You can see a increasing, a sharp increase uh, about the population uh, from 2010 to 2011. How about the Weibo markets? Uh, I want I want to offer a very simple uh, picture, a big picture about the Chinese uh, Weibo markets, especially the population of, of Weibo users. Uh, according to CNIC, uh, their reports uh, right now we have uh, I think more than 250 million Chinese Weibo users, and according to the Sina, the Tencent, they have different, you know, uh, numbers of their their their, their specific Weibo users. Like uh, in for Sina, they have um, 324 million of users, and for Tencent Weibo, uh, they have 425. You can't believe which one is the real, you know, number. You you, you can always get cannot get uh, the accurate number of Chinese Weibo users. It depends on their 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 uh, their survey techniques. And we have two uh, type of users, uh, individual and organization. We can see a uh, kind of increasing tendency for the Chinese, different level of Chinese government to be a, a, a very active into the uh, Weibo users in China. And the Weibo can be, a, 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 can be get accessed through uh, the cable internet and also uh, the mobile, inter mobile internet. And mobile internet has become a mainstream a platform for, uh, for using Weibo. Uh, the capitals, the money, coming from uh, mainly from the two major players like Sino and Tencent, even they have they are experiencing deficit for in, for this kind of a huge inv investment. Uh, here's uh, some features of Weibo markets according to my study. Uh, the Weibo market uh, is an organic part of the inform informatization of market oriented social transformation uh, for the past 20 or 30 years of, uh, in mainland China. And also, the Weibo market today is, uh, is obviously corporate dominated with, with government censorship. Uh, is it a public private partnership? Is my uh, argument. Uh, I'm looking forward to your uh, response. And internet companies have leading players like Sina and Tencent. And Tencent has become one of the biggest uh, internet co uh, company in the world. And we also see that there's a kind of a trend, a tendency of monopolization, Tencent and Sina. They become uh, the major players, the dominant uh, about uh, the Weibo service provider. And we, we also see an uh, increase in commodification. So Weibo is not only about you know, texting or instant message uh, service, but also a uh, huge economy in scope and in scale. And, and Weibo market is also integrated with other SNS services, social networking services. Uh, it's becoming an integrated economy. It's not an uh, isolated market. So uh, today, there are different ways to make him profit through Weibo, uh, through Weibo uh, operation. So uh, here's a, a, a sentence I want to uh, introduce. Although Weibo has not been a major economic contributor today to ICTS development, it appears that, fine, thank you. It appears that Weibo is considered a door opening for future success in market. 
So there, there are very uh, previous, uh, very successful cases like the Tencent QQ. QQ used to be um, you know, free of charge and everybody can get a QQ account, but today it's becoming a door, a gateway to, uh, to making money, to making value added money for Tencent company. That's uh, kind of the major source, major reason for the rise of Tencent uh, you know, company. And also the Sina Weibo launches user data center uh, last year. It's a kind of, um, it's, it will become, a, uh, you know, it's not a free of charge, but it will become a, a, you know, kind of value added uh, business in the future. And Weibo market, uh, Weibo network is, it has becoming a, a core channels for a effective marketing. And for a lot of you know, business in China, different sectors of economy in China, the Weibo has become you know, a very, very effective marketing channels to sell their products. And it's much, maybe it's much more uh, effective than traditional television and newspaper and printing and some other uh, traditional media. And Weibo has become a brand equity for, com for company. Uh, and Sina is a very typical case. So this is the Sina uh, Weibo uh, user data center, you can find out some background information about your personal Weibo account. I'm not a Weibo and that kind of a heavy user, so <laughs> my influence is very small scale. <laughs> and Tencent, you can see that through this very big, uh, you know, inter internet, com uh, internet company, you can see they, they have reconfigured their core business and social network has become one of the six biggest group, uh, business group in this uh, company. And the third part of, of my, uh, my presentation is the rethinking the re power relationship behind the Weibo business and Weibo market. I have those questions like how to characterize the relationship between commercial based Weibo industries with frequently, okay, thank you, and the real process of social democracy. Is everybody's voice heard through Weibo without any bias on gender, race, and social class? And is there a hierarchical structure of Weibo communication which is deeply embedded in the social transformation of China? Is free access, flag structure of communication, or a consolidated power pyramid with center and periphery? Those are all my uh, arguments and all my questions, and here are my arguments. So Weber has been central place, central space for struggle of dis uh, discourse power. And according to uh, some political economists in communication studies like uh, Graham Modak, they have, uh, he has said the empowerment of new technologies not only um, bottom up, but also top down. So we we could see the complex uh, complex situation among uh, the Weibo communication structure, and also uh, as I said earlier, it's a participation of, of different level of governments. They have been active, uh, you know, players in Weibo communication to influence the public opinion, and the companies, of course, they use Weibo for marketing, and individuals. You know, talking about individuals is very uh, complex in China because. Uh, uh, in terms of different social strata and, and people who live in different regions in, in China, you can see their, the gap, incre increasing gap between their, their, their use of new technologies like Weibo. So here's a concluding remark uh, of mine. Weibo has been emerging as an important force to reshape the business model of ICTS, information and communication technologies, to restructure the public opinion and to reconfigure it, the power relationship within Chinese society. However, it still de deserves critical uh, inquiries that aim to discover the connections between the Weber revolution, which is uh, very popular in China, in Chinese, in communication and social democracy in China. And here is um, a quotation I want to uh, end, uh, end my presentation by, by co uh, quotating these uh, uh, sentences from uh, Digital Capitalism, Networking the Global uh, Market System, wrote, uh, wrote by Dan Schiller, uh, which is a very famous political economist uh, in communication studies. He said, this utopian vision, internet as cell vision, express ancient earnings, historical detoxification through scientific knowledge, the truth information will make us free. So here's my ex extended question, who will be made free? Everybody in China? How about those people who live in remote, remote rural areas? Are they, are they you know, uh, very frequent users of Weibo? How about their discourse, power of discourse? Are we looking the last question is, are we working for the ICTS companies by microblogging? It's a very uh, increasingly popular you know, research for, uh, for communication studies like uh, immaterial labor. And are we in immaterial labor? And Professor John has mentioned uh, in his presentation. Here's my questions. I need your uh, help to answer those questions in the future. That's all my, uh, my presentation. Thank you so much.